Welcome to the YouTube premiere of six brand new works for cello and piano. The works were written through Zaffer's Composing for Cello and Piano scheme, which took place between October 2020 and June 2021. The six composers worked closely with Jennifer Langridge and Benjamin Powell, and they also received guidance from composer Anna Thorvalds Dottier. This all took place in the various lockdowns we all experienced over the past year. Enormous thanks to Jen and Ben for their work with the composers and to our funders whose support enables these schemes to happen. I'm sure the six works you're about to hear have been strongly influenced by the times in which we live. There's a longing for home, a strong reaction to the work of an Iranian poet, self-reflection and music that is both delicate and fragile. Here's Michael Betteridge to introduce his new work, Grind. Grind is the musical exploration of two objects coming together aggressively and repeatedly. There's a strong narrative to the work. Early on, amid the hectic and frantic material, we get the glimpse of a dreamlike world. How temporary is this contemplative state? Are we able to escape from the grind?
Hello, my name is Anya Malin, and this is my piece for piano and cello, Callan. This piece really means a lot to me. Um, it was composed during the various lockdowns of the last year, when, like so many other people, I couldn't visit home or see my family for months and months. The Callan River is the river that runs through my hometown of Keady in County Armagh. And in the piece, the cello part expresses the longing to be near the river, whilst the piano part um, really sort of expresses the spirit of the river itself. I'd like to thank Jen and Ben for their amazing performance, and I hope you've enjoyed Callan. Hello, my name is Rylan Gleave. 
and my piece is called Supine at Lay. The title comes from the dual meaning of the word supine, either lying prone, facing upwards, or failing to protest as a result of moral weakness. The players are invited to set up and explore this cold, almost liminal space, and to make their way throughout the harmonic world. I tried to think about the contrast of smoothness and rough gesture in relation to the physicality of both instruments, um, in line with how we might address things that make us feel weak. Many thanks to Jen and to Ben for their support and commitment and dedication to this piece, and to Safra Ensemble as well for their support on the scheme.
My name is Nilufar Habibian. The title of my piece is As Tashanuj Khunat Awai Barhost, which translates as A Sound Arose from the Convulsion of Your Blood. The title comes from a poem by the Iranian slain poet Muhammad Mukhtari. This piece is a musical reflection of my feelings and also the image that took shape in my mind when I read this verse of the poem. In this piece, I'm considering the energy of blood as it flows through a vein and then gradually take us to a different world.
Idle Passing is an open-ish piece that focuses on more delicate and ephemeral textures in both the cello and the piano. The piece comprises of a set of small fragments that each player is fairly free to move between, repeat, shape and pace throughout the work. I only give a small semi-poetic description on how the two players should synchronise and interact and more than anything, it relies very heavily on them listening closely to each other. Um, Jen and Ben have a very sensitive take, um, which allows for um, the sounds to emerge naturally within a space and decay.
Hi, I'm Florence Montes, and my piece Either Everything Is or Nothing Is explores the extreme contrast between two very different musical poles. On one end, it's infinitely serene and musically static. At the other end, it's furiously dancing and exploring a whole range of muted and plucked string effects on both the cello and the piano. There's really no middle ground between these two extremes. The music exists in a state of violent contrast between the two and um, it really is a reference to how at some points everything is possible and at other points nothing is possible. There really is no middle ground in my life nor is there in this piece of music. Thank you very much.